The Exploratorium has a lot of big name tech people on its board. We've got Jack Dorsey, Reid Hoffman, uh, Google has contributed $2 million to just building this building here. And so there's a lot of tech industry stuff going on here. And I'm just excited to go inside and play. So follow me. This is the East Gallery, which is the gallery that focuses on biology or life sciences. So we have a large, gorgeous, sort of state-of-the-art lab facility where we grow stem cells. And one exhibit I think you'll probably be, I'd really like to show you is where we've adapted a model from MIT. So a really large supercomputer generated simulation that shows where microscopic life lives in the world's oceans. <laughs> that sounds amazing. Can we go check it out? Yeah, let's head this way. Great. Well, we're the Exploratorium. We want to give you something hands-on that you can play with and explore this data set. So we made these lenses and, you know, they basically interact with this table. And they actually show you the kinds of plankton living in the world's ocean. So you can actually kind of zoom in and see what's living in these different places. And a guide, you know, kind of like a bird guide, you can say, hey, what are those little green ones? Oh, that's Prochlorococcus. We wanted something that really took advantage of this being in a museum. Right. So it's social. It's a table. For me, it's really in keeping with the way we've always done things, we've framed light, we framed sound, we let you sort of see these new phenomena. This is one we're really excited about in particular. All right, so now we're upstairs and I'm heading into the Bay Observatory Gallery, which is supposed to be awesome. So, come on. Hi, welcome to the Fisher Bay Observatory. This is the only new built building in the Exploratorium's new Pier 15. Okay, it's and shiny it, and it's new. It's brand new, and it's really designed to kind of take advantage of this location at the end of the pier to give people views and an understanding of the local landscape. How long have you guys been trapped? How long has the wired pier been turned on? We just have gotten started. So we've just put instruments in the water over the last month. What we envision as the wired pier is really we're going to put instruments on here almost like an oceanographic research vessel that stays in one place. So we have, we have instruments that are in the water that are measuring water conditions, the surface currents, the tides, as well as instruments on the roof that measure the weather, carbon dioxide, greenhouse gases, and air quality. Okay, so, so this is all in real time. What we're seeing on these screens is what's happening right now. This is all in real time. So we're tracking salinity, and as we've been here for over the last couple hours, the salinity has been slowly going up as the tide comes in from the ocean. I've been learning about all the architecture that makes up the city here, which is amazing. But uh, we still have a lot to check out, so I'm gonna go back downstairs to the tinkering studio. So follow me. Hi Colleen, <laughs> welcome to the Tinkering Studio. Who are you? I'm Karen Wilkinson. I'm the director of the Tinkering Studio here at the Exploratorium and um, wanted to just show you some of the things we have going on for opening. Excellent, but first I have to say I'm noticing you have some jewelry. <laughs> yes, actually, this is for you. <laughs> it's one of the examples of things we're going to be doing in a circuit workshop. The Exploratorium is a, is a built environment. We made the place. Now we want to give visitors a chance to make side by side with us. So behind us, they're working on scribbling machines, a way of using kind of motors, batteries, and wires. We'll also be doing workshops about circuits for the next couple months, where we're dissecting things, kind of stuffed animal toys, tools, clocks, just to see kind of what's inside and make things go. Excellent, cool, and, and what's over on this side here, too? Um, so over here, <laughs> this is one of those wonderful examples of how we want to celebrate makers in the Bay Area. Yeah, and just having a place for artists and tinkerers to come and display, kind of have a platform to share their work with the community is really another kind of underlying idea for the Tinkering Studio. This has been an amazing tour of the Exploratorium and I still need to check out so many more things, but there is a game of Pac-Man happening, so I'm going to have to say goodbye for now. So, can I play? <laughs>